guys! Today I'll be showing you how to do a fishtail braid. And this is what a fishtail braid looks like. If you want to change from the traditional braid, this is a good alternative. And it got its name because I guess it looks somewhat like a fishtail. If you know it by a different name, comment and let me know. Okay, so, first brush out your hair really good because if you have any tangles, it's going to be really difficult to do the fishtail braid. Put all your hair to one side, whichever side you want the braid to be on. Unlike a traditional braid where you divide your hair into three parts, you only divide it into two for a fishtail braid. So if you have layered hair, it might be a little bit more difficult than if you have hair all the same length. So make sure that when you split it into two, like this, that they're about the same thickness and the same length. Alright, so now we have it in two, and hold your hair by your three bottom fingers because you'll be doing all the work with your index fingers. So use your index finger and separate a piece of hair from the outside of this part, like this. So just poke your finger through your hair like it's a curtain, and then twist your hand and grab that piece of hair that you just separated and bring it to the other side. And you're going to do the same with this side. Just Take your index finger, poke through, and then twist your hand to bring this chunk that you just separated over to the other part. And you just continue this process, poke your finger through and separate a chunk, and then twist your hand to bring it over to the other side. And make sure you always grab that piece from the outside of each part. So just separate another chunk of hair from the outside with your index finger, twist your hand, and, and bring this piece you just separated into the other side. And you just keep doing the same thing throughout the length of your hair. And you can just pull this up like this to tighten it whenever it gets loose. So I'll just continue. And try to make the pieces fairly even. At the end of each round, you should have the same amount of hair, about the same amount of hair in each part. So we'll just continue down. And if you ever feel that one chunk, one part gets bigger than the other after the two rounds, then you can just take more from one side than the other to balance it out. Like this, this side's going to feel a lot thicker than over here, so I'm going to take a slightly bigger chunk. Towards the bottom, it gets really thin because I have layers. So you have to be careful that none of the pieces escape and get loose. So I'm going to stop right here. Alright, so just secure with an elastic afterwards. I tend to use just a little tiny elastic like this. I was actually trying to find some black ones to match my hair, but at the time, they only had this dark brownish color, which is fine because it just blends in with your hair anyway. Alright, so that is it. And this is how it looks. To make it chunkier and messier, you also have the option of tugging out, just like pulling it out slightly to make it looser. Alright, so you can see it's a lot chunkier and bigger now. You could also do two or one braid on each side, and it would be really cute too. So try it out and let me know how it works out for you guys. Alright guys, thank you for watching.